Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 Weekly Cassie Mendoza Reset. Well, guys, today she is located over here at the foggy bottom, which is pretty much opposite to the Truman Safe House uh, area over here. Now, for Danny's location, if you want to know, well, he's at the southwest area opposite to the Air and Space Museum mission inside that building. Uh, now, to reveal both of their location, you need to find a snitch. For me, most of the time, I would say 95% of the time, is available uh, opposite to the Truman Safe House area over here, which is basically where Cassie is. Uh, now, for you, he might be in a different location. I would suggest watch a guy video, or you can just watch the video that I will link it in the comment section. Maybe you will have a better chance of finding him. Now, let's take a look what she got for sale. Well, obviously, the first named item is Designated Hitter, just like the Countdown Vendor, which comes with the perfect reformation talent. You have damage to target out of cover here as well. Now, if you don't play Countdown or you don't have enough time to play Countdown or you just don't have enough credit, like Countdown credit, whatever the case, you can just wait one day and Cassie will sell you the exact same item with just normal credit, which you can easily buy it from. Right now, I can because I'm kind of broke because all the build videos I make for you guys. Now, in the next, we have the Caesar's Guard, which is the named Empress International chess piece. It comes with a perfectly skilled talent. We already have skill haste here and health, which you can change to skill damage. Pretty good chess piece for your skill build, especially, you know, uh, a build where you want your skill to come back with that 30% of uh, cooldown. So, I mean, a chance to reset the cooldown, which is nice. We got the Shield Splinter, Soul Rifle here, comes with a perfect Optimist talent. We have Crit Chance here, 6.5%. This is actually a Hunter exclusive item. What I mean by that, there are a bunch of Hunters in the game. So you have to, like, play your Hunters, okay? Watch some guide videos, there are a bunch of them out there. Uh, you should definitely go clear them because, you know, they do drop you some cool looking masks, so why not? And right, next we have the Hunt Tequila Chest Piece, which is, again, also a Hunter exclusive item. Uh, this one always comes with the perfect intimidate talent we have skill damage and armor region this week i would say this is also nice i mean it's not bad because most of the time you do use this chest piece or smg so armor region is fine there we can change the skill damage to like uh you know crit damage maybe add a crit damage mod and that should be perfectly fine or you can just use the skill damage and go kind of make a crazy build with maybe a deflector shield uh which will definitely going to get that damage buff from perfect intimidate and also the skill damage so that will be a pretty fun build to play at uh, next, we have the Heartbreaker Backpack with 10.5% crit damage, a Rigor Chest Piece with 7.7% of headshot damage, a Rigor Gloves here with 8.3% of skill damage, uh, Aegis Knee Pass with Explosive Resistance, 6.8%, a Heartbreaker Holster with 8.3% of status effect, we got a Hardwire um, Mask with 10.8% uh, of crit damage, a GR9 LMG with Flatline Talent, maxed out swap speed there, you got a lightweight M4 rifle with reformation talent, 7% of crit chance. Empress International chest piece is the normal one uh, with protected reload talent. We have skill damage here and repair skill on it. Uh, overload ornaments uh, mask with 11.9% weapon damage, 6.5% weapon handling, and 10.6% of crit damage. And then we have a, a defensive system mod with armor and kill there. And finally, a drone mod with plus two extra bombs. So that's it for weekly guessing windows I here. Let's go maybe take a look at Danny, shall we? All right, guys, we're here at Danny Weaver, who's basically located here at the Southwest area, opposite to the Air and Space Museum mission. Just enter the building and head downstairs. You'll reach him. Uh, now, as for his stock, we got one exotic cache, five uh, field proficiency cache. We got four crafting material cache and a two named item cache. So that's what he's selling right now. Now, if you don't see any items available, maybe you already have purchased it this week because he does reset on Monday. Uh, so that could be a possibility or uh, you have hit a bug where, you know, there is no item available. So I would suggest you to change your server and then you will be able to see the items available. So that's it for uh, the weekly Gassim Mendoza reset and you know, should I say Danny Weaver as well. So hopefully you'll find what you're looking for and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.